Hey there, fellow Wackadoos. Hello again, and welcome back to Dr. Doodle's Cubase Asylum, where, as always, I am your guy and chief, chief nut job in these parts, the one and only Dr. Doodle. That's me. Ah, uh, I gotta tell you, I'm tired. I'm tired. You know, you may, you may have noticed this appendage at the top of my noggin here. Uh, that's right, this is my birthday cap. I just had a birthday about uh, one week ago or so. Yep, I am 58 years too damn old, so I'm tired. But anyway, so welcome to episode number 19. Yeah, this many, minus that. I'm 19. Uh, you may have noticed that the, the title up here, uh, my new QBasic project. If you notice project in, in air quotes, you'll be wondering why is it project in air quotes. Well, I'm going to tell you why. You'll see here in the video in just a second, but uh, a little different one this time, so hopefully a quickie. Let's do this thing. Hang on. All right. Well, so we got QBA 19 up. Uh, we got QBA 19 QBasic project, uh, project by Dr. Doodle, copy left 2023. And well, let's take a peek at this turkey and see what she does. Is run this uh, here and uh, there and uh, no and look here. Watch. Beep, look at there. See, I don't know if you can see so well on this camera, but wait a minute. Let me just. Can I adjust this? Oh, that way. Oh, there we go. I guess that's the mobestest. But yeah, so we got these spirals going, and uh, look at there. there, there oh, there's a hexagon there, and I think they've got a, like a pentagon coming up. Sure, pentagon, there it is. And here comes the square. Oh my goodness, can you understand, Can you stand the excitement? I know you're just on the edge of your seat here. But but so that's what it does. It's got a bunch of... Oh, Mr. Triangle, there he is. And uh, can you really see these colors? I don't know, this monitor's not the best. But anyway... So there's a star and all these different shapes and such. And what, we got the different line segments, see all different colors and whatnot. And they're spinning around going like that. Oh, look at there. They just headed back the other way now. Going to start unwinding. And come on now. There's a, oh, nope, that's not him. But pentagram's coming. There it is, pentagram. And leads to what? The, uh, I guess, the, the triangle. Yep. So they spin around and, um, yeah, they spin around, that's about it. But it's actually kind of cool. But basically, it's it's like one line with a bunch of segments. And as it unwinds, you'll see it kind of looks like, there's the, the pentagram again here, a hexagon. Almost looks like a spider web in some spots. But uh, but there you go. See, now it's uncoiling. Uh, unwind. Kind of like snail shell now, but all the pretty colors and stuff. And there you go. Till you get back to the beginning and whoop, all, all over again. So there's what she does. But you know what else it does? Check this out. We'll run this again. All right, so we got these. We got our, our options here. Do you want to turn clockwise or anti-clockwise? Now, uh, I, I went with anti-clockwise instead of uh, counterclockwise uh, for, for you Americans like me. Uh, counterclockwise, what you see, I try to avoid the confusion between C and CC, so now it's either C or A, clockwise or anti-clockwise. So Europe, you're welcome, no problem. But we'll go with clockwise. Boop, all right. And then uh, we, we saw the clockwise now, but... Uh, that's yes, simple as you just spin this way or that way. Here we go head first or feet first. Now, we did head first last time. Let's do feet first and see what happens. And travel again, no. Now, watch this. Check it out. See, now it's like a whip uh, sl slinging around there where the, the feet are moving faster than the head. Otherwise, it was the head spinning and curling everything up. Now, it's the feet coming from the outside in. So, it's the opposite way around. And I kind of like it the other way best, but this is a different uh, different tack, kind of groovy. Uh, some people might dig it. So, there you go. A uh, different option. We're spinning around. As you saw before, it just gets wound up and then uh, winds back down. Alright, so like that. And, of course, now, uh, long-suffering viewers of this channel will know that, uh, well, one of the things we tend to do quite a bit, it's almost a specialty, is bounce some crap around the screen. So, here we go. We're going to bounce some crap around the screen, and and there you go. We're winding them up, and you do 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 goes to a snail shell again. We're winding back around. And, of course, it's bounced around the screen. You use this for a screensaver, if you like, or just for something to do on a rainy day, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I thought you might get a kick out of the different graphics and uh, basically what you got here, see, now all these different shapes and such, it's really just one long line made up of different segments. Each segment's got, a, there's a point A, point B, and then C, D, E, F all the way through here. Uh, so it's, it's all these different segments, different colors. So that's what it does, and now this is out, let's see how it does it. 
We start at the beginning here, of course, our, our title screen or title line there. Uh, we start, start by initializing the program. Well, we're dimensioning one, two, three, four, uh, yeah, it looks like four four uh, different arrays. Uh, Z is that's like an offset to the, the angle as it turns. R is rotation. And this, so that's offset from the rotation. Uh, the X and the Y position, that's that's the start and the end of each of the different segments. And you'll see we get to load them up as we go. Now, uh, X equals 160, Y 100. So we're set, centering it in the middle to start. H equals 2 and V equals 1. These are the horizontal and vertical directions. If you notice 2, and it's because uh, I, I really tried it with H equals 1, and it was bouncing kind of like this. I wanted the screens wider, so I wanted to take better uh, advantage of the, the full screen. So I made the horizontal 2. It just moves it a little quicker. You can change that. Hell, to, to put it to uh, H3 or V2, V4, or whatever we want to do. But that's what I, we have got set up now. Now, once we got our, our arrays set up and the, ver the variables set up, we go to our options, so locate number two, uh, two and two, color 12, it's kind of a light red, I guess. We input twist clockwise or anti-clockwise, CA, and we got our variable CA, uh, a string there with the, the pound sign, the dollar sign makes it string. So C for counter, A for, yeah, C for clockwise, A for anti-clockwise, and again, for to avoid confusion with CC, it was a C, it was a CC, who knows, CC Music Factory, whatever. But if up, uppercase C A, in other words, whatever, you, whether, if you type in a lower C or uh, uppercase C, this converts it to uppercase. So if it's that, then you press C, you go clockwise. Anything else, then it goes anti clockwise. So if uppercase C equals capital C, then twist equals one, else twist equals zero. So it's twist this way or that. Are simple enough. Now locate four, two, and down and over is color ten. Which uh, what's that like a uh, yellow? Blue, I don't know, green, whatever. Input twist head first or feet first. And we, I showed you that how it, it kind of spins from the center, pulls everything in, or from the outside and pushes it in. And we got H F head feet and again another uh, a string variable. If uppercase H F equals head H for header, then well let's skip that for a minute. If let's assume it's not, we want to do feet first. Then we set our delay to 3,000, so it kind of slow it down a bit. Now for I to next I, uh, we go 1 to 50. Number equals number plus 1. Or, I'm sorry, plus 0 0.01. So we're we're starting with 0 0.01, and then we make set Z I to number. This we just calculate here. Sets that into Z I. Next I. So the next time through, uh, I is now 2, so number equals number plus 1, uh, 0.01, so now it's 0 0.02, and Z2 becomes 0 0.02. Go through again, it's now 3, number equals number plus 0 0.01, so now it's 0 0.03. Z3 becomes 0 0.03. You get it. Just each time with each new uh, offset, Z, uh, it starts 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, etc., etc., etc. Now, if we decide yes, we do want to go head first, then we set our delay to 2,000 a little quicker because we can we can get away with it. I'll, I'll explain that later. And for I equals 50 to 1. Instead of 1 to 50, we're going 50 to 1, step minus 1. See, in the past, we've used the, the 4 next and it's counting up, but you can use step to count down. So we're starting at 50, we're going to 1, step minus 1, and by the way, if we wanted to, we could go step 1, step 2, step 12, uh, skip every 10th one, uh, minus 10, whatever. But basically, this tells it whether to go up 1 or down 1. By default, it just goes up by 1. But in this case, we want to count from 50 down to 1, so we do step minus 1. And the same thing, number equals number plus 0 0.01, zi equals num. So instead of, of uh, setting like a point, yeah, Z1 ends up, I'm sorry, Z, yeah, Z1 ends up 0 0.01. Z2 equals 0 0.02. Z3 equals 0 0.03. Now here we're starting with point with Z50. Z50 equals 0 0.01. Z49, because we're stepping down, equals 0 0.02. Z48 equals 0 0.03 because we're counting down through. So in other words, instead of numbering this way, we're numbering that way. That's all there is for that. So either twist from the head first or from the tail first, depending on our option. Next, let's come down here and here's our input. 
Travel, yes, no. Uh, but travel, you saw that just makes it bounce around the screen and NY, yes, no, uh, string variable. If uppercase, yes, no equals Y, yes, then travel, travel equals one, else travel equals zero. So we've set our, our uh, twist and our travel, travel variables. What do they do? Well, we'll go with twist. First of all, we set screen to, to screen mode 13. Again, 320 by 200 pixels and 256 colors. Now, if twist equals zero, then we run the window command. What's this all about? Let's take a look at window help window. Beep. Now, normally, <coughs> normally uh, if we, we've talked in uh, other video, videos about QBasic screen modes, uh, I should say uh, graphics modes, uh, I tend to use uh, 13, 12 and 13, but there are different modes. In any case, as with most languages on a computer screen, now you start at low numbers and you go up, so it's positive this way. In other words, when you locate the pixel on screen, this is pixel, what, row, column one, row whatever, column two, row whatever, column three, column four, the numbers go up as you go this way and down as you go that way. Now that's the same as it would be in Cartesian graphics if you've done any algebra in school or whatever with the positive and negative. All right, great. But... Now for vertical, it's just the opposite. With Cartesian graphics, you start low here, so this would be pixel zero, whatever, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. However, in computer, I guess the, the monitors, it has to do with the hardware of the monitors, they count this as zero. So this corner would be zero, zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, zero. The numbers go up as you go down. Makes no sense to me, but in any case, uh, with the, the window command, it does just the opposite. You can set it whatever size you want, the screen mode, the, the, the uh, graphics viewport, I should say. Set it to whatever size you want. In this case, we're setting it the same size as the screen. But it just flips the vertical so that instead of going up, 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 it now goes up, up, up like it should, like in Cartesian. Now, if you want, you notice you got the screen. That just makes it relative to the screen, so you can set the size of the, the viewport you want. And if you use the screen function, then it just works like the typical screen. Down is up. But in any case, we're using window with no screen option. So it, all it does is it takes the same, keeps the same uh, size viewport, but flips the vertical. And this makes it go instead of clockwise, it goes up and then counterclockwise. See, that's all that does. Hopefully that was clear enough. Uh, escape that for now. So uh, we, we've got our yeah we've got our, our our options set, and now it's time to go to the main program. Which of course we're here main program loop. We do loop to this point while in key is nothing, and then once you do hit a key, it drops down to system and the program. In the meantime, it just loops, 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 loops. So. Each time through this loop, you got this for next, and it very basically it's loading the values into the different arrays uh, R, X, Y, L, etc. So we start with one to fifty. X zero equals X. Y zero equals Y. In other words, whatever it happens to be now, that's what it is now. Now, what's that for? Well, let me just disable this line, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, boop, like this. We we'll run this, this crater here. We we'll go clockwise, sure, whatever. Uh, and in the head first, it doesn't really matter. Travel, yep, we'll do that. You'll you'll see what I'm talking about here. There. Now, as you see this blue line right here, we don't need that. It's just a, it's each because each time through the the main loop, what's happening is it is starting from zero zero, and then the next one is see because this is like the. It's like one long line, but each segment is the first segment is x one y one. Next segment x one x2 y2 then x3 y3 so this this might be x25 y25 x26 y26 x27 y27 x28 etc so basically the idea is it, it's one long line made of different segments and each one is x1 x2 x3 y11 y2 y3 etc so we'll skip that out of here and we will remove the the re, re uh we will re-enable this line just gets rid of that blue line to begin with. Now C is color, and we're adding, it, the I is 1 to 50, but we want to skip the first 32 colors. Well, all right, we'll do that. I'll show you the first 32 color, what they look like, and maybe you'll get a sense of why uh, we skip them. Uh, clockwise, sure, head first, yeah, whatever, travel, no. 
so you can see it better. Now the colors on this on this camera, you, know, you see they're all like jammed in the one, and then it's a shade of gray, which I, I really don't like the looks of that. So I decided just to skip those first two until we get to this point with the blue, and then it gradually fades like a like a, a color spectrum. And there you go. We'll escape this here. So that's why we add 32, just to avoid the first 32 colors, because we don't need them. Now, if I is greater than 25, C goes to 50. So if it's greater than 25, then C equals C minus 25. So basically, it's just starting back at 32. Basically, 32, 33, 34, up to, I guess, 77. Now, 20, I is greater than 25, so C is, subtracts back to 32, 33, 34, up to 77. That's what makes it a run here. And run, come on, run. Uh, clockwise at first. And, uh, nope. Now, is there, where is, I thought I had a, thought I had a uh, pause button here. But in any case, you can see where it starts out blue, purple, and then it gets back here to blue and purple. So basically the colors are repeating just to make the, the spectrum, the color spectrum kind of, Consistent, I guess. If we wanted to, we can do this. We could just uh, disable that right there. Boom, disable it, run again. And clockwise uh, header and uh, travel no. Yeah, see now that's your, oh, that's not too bad. It's sort of pastel colors, I guess, if you want to call. I, I personally like the, the more vivid colors, but if you like this, hey, whatever. Just experiment with it, knock yourself out. That's what I came up with. Uh, but we'll re-enable that. Oh, and just to uh, just to re, uh, to prove that, see that we go to anti-clockwise instead of clockwise. Uh, we go feet first. Yeah, why not? And travel no. But if you watch here, you see it's flipped the, yeah, so now it's gone counterclockwise. And the feet are moving around. Instead of the feet staying still and the head spinning around, it's the feet kind of pulling everything in. And you'll see it'll look just basically like it did before eventually, except it starts on the other end, more or less. And now we'll go back to the main pro program here. So, yes, we've... we've we established we need the X0 equals X, Y0 equals Y. We've set up our color. Now comes the, where the nitty gets gritty. R is the rotation. And it keeps track of the rotation of each of the different line segments. It's equal to R plus Z1. Z1 is, or ZI, excuse me. Z is the, the offset we spoke about earlier. It's either point plus point one or point zero one point zero one points or minus point zero one my minus point zero one depending what the options are so it takes rotation i the the first one our rotation one and it's equal to offset one now it takes x one the x position of that segment is x wherever it happens to be now plus the cosine of r that's the rotation at times i that <laughs> You're thinking, what the heck are you talking about? Cosine, sine. Well, if you haven't seen it yet, check out my vo uh, my video. I forget which episode it is, but it's um, uh, Follow the Bouncing Bollocks. And we talk more about sine and cosine. They're just basic trigonom trigonometric functions that uh, allow you to position things on the screen, make them spin around like you just saw there. Uh, but yeah, so that's what that does. That calculates the X and Y position for each of the different segments, like X1, Y1, X2, Y2, X3, Y3, X4, that kind of thing. It just goes through and calculates the positions for the different line segments. So we set our colors, we set our positions, and now we draw our line. X, I minus one, Y, I minus one. That's because we're starting with one, but we actually want to do zero and start at, put it at X zero, Y zero, and then to X one, Y one. So we're starting basically in the center and our first line segment goes from the center point to X one, Y one. Next one goes from X one, Y one to X two, Y two. Next segment, X two, Y two to X three, Y three x3 y3 to x4 y4 and around around all the way through the, the 50 segments of, of the line 
Uh, yeah, so calculates that all, draws the line. Now we do our delay, which if you remember, we set our delay uh, here. If we're going from the head, head or from tails out, excuse me, it spins so quick it's kind of hard to see. So I, I've made the delay a little bit longer for that, but a shorter delay for the other one where it spins head first. Uh, okay, so yeah, for D equals 1 to delay, next D. Again, just delay it so you can see it. We clear our screen, and it, now this is interesting. If travel equals 1, then we go some wander. So basically, this is all centered around the X0 and Y0 position right there in the center. But if travel equals 1, then we go sub to the wander subroutine, which you see right here. And if X is less than 50, X is greater than 270, then H equals H times negative 1, blah, blah, blah. And you, you've seen all this. This is the basic, the, our very first video we talked about, the different direction, X and Y position. But that's what makes it bounce around the screen. Otherwise, we just loop while inc is nothing, do it all. Oh, excuse me, do it all over again. Start at I1 to 50, calculate all the new positions, all the new colors, and uh, draw the new lines. There you go. That's about it. Hopefully that's, uh, well, I'm sure it's as clear as mud, but hopefully I've given you a rough idea how this works. Again, questions, just toss them down there, and I'll try to get back to you. But mess with this. Uh, see, change the color settings or, or make cosine times R plus 2 or whatever. See what happens. And that's really the only way to learn how the, the graphics functions work as far as sine, cosine. You just got to mess with them. Oh, hey, but you know, I've been watching all these videos telling me I need to how to make better videos. I need to put more, more action and drama into my videos. So here you go. Dig that as much as I did? Okay, well, back to it. Here we go. All right, well, that that about does it for the code. Now we're it's time for superiors, and you will it's time to learn why I call this the QBasic quote project. You'll see in just a moment when I bring up our superior. Hang on a second. Here we go. Superior. Superior. All right, now here we are at uh, Project JDM, uh, project.jdm. This is a, a um, YouTube channel. And in fact, this if you look at this video right here, uh, hypnotized. Mm -hmm. Now this video, the pendulum waves of hypnotizing, this is the video that actually gave me the idea for the project, hence the name Project JDM, QBasic Project. Uh, but in any case, that's where the, the project gets its name from. And if you watch this, just it's basically the same thing as, as my program. Much more advanced, of course. And in fact, it's got, let's uh, unmute this. Got the groovy sounds. But you can see it's spiraling in, spiraling in, and uh, we'll move forward a bit more. You can see what it looks like. So is this starting to look a little more? Is this starting to look a little more familiar? Obviously, much more advanced than, than my program, but this is what gave me the idea to do this. Hence, the name Project J, Q Basic Project. Now, if we look back here, there's <laughs> this page has hundreds of, of amazing. If you look here at Project JDM. He's he's got hundreds of amazing videos like that with things. Where's another one? Uh, which one? I gotta find him here. Why does this not want to load? Here we go. This one. All right, we'll play here, and there we go. <laughs> This is actually the very first video that I saw on Project JDM, and yes, I did watch the full two hours of it, but it's neat to watch as they bounce back and forth and they get more and more chaotic and then fall back into order as they go. Anyway, this, this video is the first one I saw, and that's what led me to the next one, which inspired our project, hence the name Project.Base. So, Sacred Geometry, this is another one that is very cool, and we'll, we'll take a quick, brief look at this here. 
Yeah, this one's fun. This is uh, called Sacred Geometry. And it's the same idea, just a bunch of lines bouncing the screen, around the screen again. Of course, now, this was done in a language far more advanced than Cubasic. You could never get away with something like this. It would be so slow, you, would, you wouldn't even be able to watch it. But it's the same idea. All those videos are, well, most of them anyway, are like this. It's got different uh, geometric shapes and things and the sounds and all, which uh, <laughs> I think you, you would thank me not to put in the sound, Cubasic sounds in the, this thing. You'd drive you crazy. But, uh, yeah, so Project JDM and go here. Come on. All right, so here is his panel and uh, what's the donuts and pizza? Uh, they're played by a bouncing square. Apparently, it's a song, Donuts and Pizza. But basically, that's the idea. You've got, oh, well, you got dots and you got lines and things bouncing around the screen. <laughs> Just hypnotic stuff. It's fun to watch. And um, I like to watch it. Uh, but it's this is where I actually got the idea for the, this project, hence the name. And this one's kind of cool, too. The, the, oh, I, you just pro previews like that. And then what's this one? That one's kind of cool, too. You get a top-down and then a 3D view. But this is uh, Project JDM. This is the, the, the channel I, I saw that inspired the, this video, hence the name. So I recommend you check it out. There's lots of cool things to watch. And, um, yeah, there you have it. About all I got to say for him. But uh, thank you, Project JDM, for all your cool videos. And, uh, yeah, there we go. I guess it's time to head back to the video. And we'll uh, we'll wrap this, this turkey up and get it out of here. So hang on a second. All right, well, that about wraps it up for this video, I guess. Uh, we, we covered the, the program, the code, superiors, and yeah. Uh, now, I have a couple questions, uh, just out of curiosity, if you drop some comments down below. Uh, do you prefer, would you want to see more of these, like little snips of just graphics things, or full-on programs, games, things like that, like longer version, or longer format videos, or shorter ones? Which do you prefer? Um, and other than that, uh, like I say, if I if you have any questions, drop them down the dually there, and I'll try to explain them. I know I didn't do a good job this time, but uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you have a chance, you know, share it to somebody you hate, and make them watch this crap too. Uh, so I guess that's about it for now. Again, thanks for watching. And, oh wait, <laughs> wait to see the next next one. I'll number twenty is going to be a doozy. I, I promise you. You want to stick around for that. But other than that. Uh, Thanks again, and I guess I will see you when I see you, so hasta la pizza, baby.